Welcome to Phil Talks Tech. Today I'm going to do a dual Z axis upgrade on my Ender 3 V2. This is Creality's dual Z upgrade kit for the Ender 3 series printers. I'm just going to unbox it and fit it. Okay, what do we have in here? Ah, bracket to relate crate power supply. That'll be through. Three. I've got a Ender 3 version 2, so I'm not going to need that one. Uh, coupling for the stepper motor and a stepper motor. New Z axis rod. Bunch of bolts and screws and nuts. Actual bracket for the rod. Mount for the stepper motor and two rod supports, some cable ties, some instructions. That's the whole kit and the dual Z axis cable, which I already have out. Have all our pieces here. It's done to pack the screws, all nicely labelled. Okay, we'll just lay all these out so we can find everything. <coughs> Need the cable ties for a little while yet. We'll need the rest of these things. We'll start by putting the stepper motor bracket on the stepper motor. And for that, I need um, two M316 screws. Make sure that's nice and flush. We won't over tighten these, just we'll nipple them up on the printer. That solves that one. Brackets mounted. We'll need two countersunk screws for that to mount. We'll need these two here. We'll go through here. I'll be able to do the adjustment on it all. Just to make sure those two nuts do flick me on it. That's just lift up there. Not super tight yet because I want to adjust it all this much and get the rod on. Okay, now we'll move to the axis arm. We'll have to move all these, so I'll need to remove this bolt here. So we'll just undo these two bolts. Always. It's good. We should be able to get our three new long bolts, our spacers. We don't want to over tighten this because we have to adjust our, have to be able to still move our concentric nut. Need a little spanner for that. Now we'll need to fit our rod. That's in there nicely. All moves nice and freely. We'll just snip that up. And you'll note you can get slight different movement with the gantry. That is our problem. That's why we're fitting these jewels so they can move together. None of this wobbling of the X axis. Okay. So we're start to tighten things up now. Get it tight. Need to put some lube on there in a minute, but uh, we can pretty much lose our we didn't get that tight fill. Okay, now we'll take some M420 bolts, drop them down in here, and put a T-nut on the end. These are just the support for the for the Z axis rods. Well, if you something Creality decided they needed after the didn't have it on the original, but they've added two to this. Fit those. Fit some T nuts to these screws. Be able to put these on, and the job's just about done. It's nice of Creality to include the sleeving for the Z axis spit a cable just feed the cable down through there and it'll make it look nice and neat and it matches the sleeving that's already on the machine so that's a nice touch there we go all sleeved up i'll just fit that onto the main board now ok 
can't get it wrong as it's two locators just don't force it if you're not sure just have another look and just get rid of that z-axis cable we don't need that any longer Move our blocks I'm just going to take that to the top and just check our parallel make sure you turn both screws at the same time Yeah, it powers up. nice and smoothly and quietly. Just have to put a bit of lube on those rods in a sec. I'll just um, let this do its homing there. I've got the sour touch on this. You might have to look at my recent video about that, but it uh, works quite well. I'll just lube those rods and preheat the bed. There you go, near perfect calibration cube, good bed adhesion, no real elephant's footing, no over extrusion, pretty happy with that, job well done. If you like what you saw today, why don't you like and subscribe, ring that bell. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'm Phil, and this is Phil's Talks Tech.